Hi, YouTubers. It's me, Vanessa. So, something important. So, uh, again, about YouTube. A nice, big ass YouTube, like a big ass cigar. So, anyway, uh, this has to do with community guidelines. So, obviously, the last damn time, uh, I did not work for YouTube. This is purely general information. Uh, so, take it with a grain of salt. So, uh, anyway, uh, this has to do with uh, community guidelines and YouTube strike system. How does this work? So, uh, obviously, the last damn time, damn, damn time, I did not work for YouTube. So, anyway. So the way the YouTube strike system works is when your video gets flagged uh, by you know, a YouTube user or a robot, essentially it's reviewed against community guidelines. If it's found to be in violation, the following will happen. The first possibility is it could be age restricted, but if it's found to be in violation, it's going to be removed. So the first time this happens, you will get most likely, most likely a warning from YouTube, basically telling you which policy you broke. And keep in mind, you will only get one warning. So one fucking warning. So that's it. And that warning will stay on your account unless it's appealed and uh, reversed. It will stay on your account permanently. So you get one free get out of jail free card like a monopoly and that's the one get out of jail free card the second time you violate um you will get a actual strike and that strike will stay on your account for 90 days uh three months and basically you will be unable to the big thing is you won't be you won't be able to upload a, a youtube video for one week you'll be in youtube jail you know fucking jail for one week and you won't be able to upload for one week and there's other uh, consequences i forget what they are exactly like live streaming this kind of crap you know that kind of crap so uh, uh the second time you violate within a 90 day period you will get your second strike and you won't be able to upload for two weeks yes two fucking weeks which really sucks so and you will be in youtube jail you know fucking jail for two weeks and yeah you won't be able to upload for two weeks if you get three strikes within 90 days your channel will get terminated meaning meaning every one of your videos every one of your all your crap all your shit gets terminated and essentially you lose your entire channel you still have your gmail account your, your google account that kind of crap you know this kind of crap but essentially you lose all your videos all your subscriptions are gone and you are never able on that on that particular gmail account or google account to sign up for another account so you can't sign up for a new account um a lot of people, for this very reason, in case they get falsely flagged, will uh, have basically a backup account. Like I have a, a couple other accounts, just in case, on the very rare chance I got, you know, falsely flagged. So, um, you know, it's a good idea to have a backup back backup account. Sorry, because you never know when something might bad happen. So, when something bad might happen, I'm really off here. So, uh, big ass of life. So, the bottom line is, that's what happens when you get flagged and your video gets removed. Is the first time you get a warning, a fucking warning. The second time you get a strike, that remains in your account for 90 days. Now, keep in mind, I know it was a little bit off there, but uh, keep in mind, if 90 days passes, three months passes, and you stay out of trouble and you haven't gotten you know other videos flagged in the 90 day period or removed that account that strike sorry that strike will uh, expire and then it will be you know go through the process again so uh, say you get a strike on may 1st and then you get a strike on october 1st it will count as the first strike again and you'll be in you know youtube jail you know fucking jail for a week like like the first one because it's been 90 days you know it's been more than 90 days so it's a little bit complicated i know it's kind of fucking complicated but that's how it kind of works and keep in mind, you know, there are certain things you're not going to get a warning for. I mean, if you upload really bad material, like really bad material, like, you know, horrible stuff like animal abuse, like just horrible stuff in general, like, they're not going to give you a, a fucking warning on the first tro the first offense. Uh, they're probably going to terminate your account. Actually, in actuality, YouTube has said uh, if you're found to be uploading pornography um, with uh, sexually explicit material for the purpose of arousal, um, that's actually automatic channel termination so uh, be fucking careful because uh, once you're blacklisted from youtube from that, that gmail or google account uh, you're gone you're never going to be able to sign up for another account uh, and that's why a lot of people like i said before before i got kind of dazed is that's why a lot of people have a backup account at least one or two uh, or three backup accounts in case they got falsely you know flagged in case you know somebody was pissed off and falsely flagged them you know so uh you want to be careful anyway fucking careful anyway big ass your life pretty freaking cool bye